Hey yo, it is Des, and welcome back to my channel, guys. So today, we're getting into something different. Yes, this is a dance reaction video. And we're not using Randall today, okay? We're not using him today. We're gonna give him a little break, okay? <laughs> so, but I saw that Jackson State has recently had their first football game. I believe this is their first football game. And they posted some footage this week. So we are going to look at that. So we're gonna look at some of their videos. We're not gonna look at everything, but we're gonna go ahead and see what this new squad got, okay? How they're doing things because of COVID restrictions. So. Let's see what they got for this game, okay? Let's look at the first one. Let's go ahead and look at the marching in. <sighs> okay, so we're just a regular marching, in, walking. We're not marching in at all, okay? They're just walking. This is not traditional at all, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, COVID and stuff is going on. So I'm just glad that they're able to even do this. You know, it's a blessing that they're able to even do this at all. So it's just literally like a walk-in. I was expecting marching in, but it's literally just a walk-in with the band director in the front leading with the drum majors following and with the J6 and then the band. So let's see if anything else happened. You know, it's just walking through. Okay, I, and I see the name of this video is called Jackson State uh, J-Sets and Band Marching In with a question mark because, um, yeah, this is a waste of footage, buddy. <laughs> I don't mean to say it like that, but, you know, they're just walking in. They probably just wasn't able to do that, which is very weird and odd. I don't know why they have to do it like this, but that's what they had to do, honey. You just follow the orders that is given to you. So you have the new squad walking past. Yeah, so it's just them walking past and I'm gonna scrub through this. I don't see anything else of them. So yeah, it's just literally just, the, I'm not gonna bore y'all with just them walking in. So they did march in as a traditional thing that all HBCUs uh, marching bands actually do. So it's a little bit different. So let's see what else is going on. Let's see the next video that we have. We have GLAD by Jackson State J sets and the band and yeah let's see everybody better know this song okay <laughs> everybody that goes to HBC know this song they had a good amount of people in the um audience so very clean you know traditional movements yeah, watch those arms, make sure everybody's doing it right. Keeping everything clean with the L's. Smiles are beautiful, ladies. Great. And I know some people might not understand why are songs like this so important, but these songs are more than tradition to HBCUs. These are like staple things. Like Swag Surf. Everybody knows when you go to an HBCU. Everybody knows what Swag Surf is. Everybody that goes to an HBCU with Marching Man, you know what I'm So Glad is. Or you know what your, like our stuff was Aggie Spirit or Gangster Aggies or Corporate Thuggy. Everybody has those staple songs that no matter what, those songs are going to stay with that school because it's tradition. So if you ever like, why are they performing this song? It's because one, it's a song for their school. They're, you know, ambassadors of the university first. So that's the reason why we do songs like this or Aggie Spirit and stuff like that, because it shows pride for your university. So there. But I love that they're staying clean. It's sometimes it's hard to stay clean when you keep doing the same moves over and over again. You get lazy, you get tired. So kudos to y'all for keeping it clean. Nice little ripple sit down. And they have majority new people on the squad. So let's see, let's get into the next video. Let's see what other videos we got. We're gonna do maybe one or two more. And yeah, so we just wanna see what they gave today, okay? Yes, I wanna see some more upbeat. Come on, give me that J sets. 
I want to see it. Nice energy, nice energy. Nice arms, keep your arms clean. Very simple eight counts though. These are very simple eight counts. I wanna see some more. Maybe it's what, and sometimes y'all, it's not the squad, okay? Sometimes you're like, why are they just dancing very simple? It's because of the song selections, okay? We don't get to call the shots on what, what the band plays, you know what I mean? So you gotta roll with the flow. You gotta roll with the punches sometimes. And sometimes it might not be your favorite song, but you gotta dance like it is regardless because you are a performer. That's what you do, you're an entertainer. You're a dancer. I love the energy, ladies. I think everybody has done an eight count like this. This little walk, little trot, little turn thing. I think everybody has a walk like that. Maybe I need I need to do some more research, y'all. Okay, so y'all help me out. Who is the captain of the squad this year? What is her name? Yes, in together always. <laughs> You can never go wrong with ending together, okay? Ending together makes your performance in this dynamic threat. Because if y'all end and y'all all discombobulated, it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, okay? You want people to be like, I remember that last move. It was so impactful that I remember it and that was such a great routine. You don't want to have such a great routine and then it just fall apart at the end, no. Because then all your hard work, they went to waste and you did all this routine and just for it to end like that. I believe, is that all their videos? And all these videos are found on Showtime Web YouTube channel. So if you guys want to go watch those videos over there, I will link them down in the description box. So all video credit goes to Showtime Web, okay? Let's look at Get Ready. Get Ready is one of those songs. Okay, so maybe they did this because they couldn't march in. Usually they do Get Ready to March In. This is a Jackson State song, staple song. And they're doing everything different. I am, but maybe, it, I don't know if they're just revamping their style or are they, you know, I just don't know why they said that. I was expecting this video to be like, like this song, I was expecting it to be up doing the moves, you know, in the stands maybe. But they're just doing sitting hand gestures, hand movements. And you never know, you never know what's going on behind the scenes, like I said. So you only, you only know surface level, okay? But I'm expecting so much more, guys. I'm just expecting so much more. I was wondering, are gonna sit down the whole time or? Even these little moments like this, yes, it might not be like them up doing bucking, like their typical bucking. Togetherness and making sure that your squad is um, meshing well and making sure that their movements are still clean, even though it's not, we're not up dancing, bucking and everything, doing our traditional stuff. So you still gotta make sure you're clean and you're still giving 110%, even though you're sitting down, just rocking your shoulders back and forth. Still gotta get some type of energy. So I do appreciate that there. With some people, some people drop their smiles. Okay, there she goes, she picked it back up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you lose your smile, but yeah, make sure you remember to keep that up. Okay guys, I'm getting really disappointed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So let me just watch one more video. We're gonna look at, let's do big balling. I love big balling. Big balling was definitely a staple when I, when I was in high school. It was one of them songs. So let's go ahead and see what this video got.
And um, Jay says always give us a nice side view, a nice side view of videos. It's just a lack of energy. And I don't know it's because of, you know, because of COVID, you know, the football games isn't as high energy because everybody's not there. Everybody got to be social distancing. So, you know, energy drives a lot during a performance. And I can tell you this. I've danced in front of a church before. We perform in front of churches all the time. And you have people looking for you to dance and pull out everything. But, you know, you can't do everything full out. So, you just got to make sure you're still performing at 110%, no matter what venue, no matter who you're performing in front of, no matter who is there. I don't care if you're dancing in front of a kindergarten class. You know what I mean? You give your all. You give your all. And what you can do. You know what I mean? Because in church, it's just a little bit different. But you get what I'm saying. Still a little bit more cleaning. And this is like one of the first... I think it's their first performance from COVID. Besides like little virtual stuff that they put out, this is their actual performance where you're actually performing in front of people, not in front of a camera. It's something totally different. So, and they have a lot of new people. See, homegirl in the front is messing up, honey. That's front row too. And captains drive the energy for the squad. So... You gotta take that in consideration. Oh, baby kept going. You better keep going. <laughs> Even though it wasn't just time, you kept going, finish it out. <laughs> recovery is everything. Recovery can take your squad so far, okay? But if you cannot recover well, you could just forget forget the performance. You know what I mean? But yes, tell. Yes, tell. Yes, tell. Yeah. I feel like I wanna do one more just to give them the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Maybe it was just the song selection. Maybe it's just something going on. But as you can see, being an HBCU dancer, you have to know that regardless of whatever, people want to see you at 110%. They don't care what's going on. When they come and look up this video, they want to see what they're searching for. I want to see the j Sess dancing to Big Ballin'. You know what I mean? So you just have to understand that as a, a HBCU dancer, when you become a dancer, people don't care. People do not care. They don't care if you're upset. They don't care if you had a bad day. They don't care whatever happened before this they don't care if you got cussed out by a coach before they don't they don't care what happened before the performance but once you hit that performance just like when beyonce hit that stage once she hits that stage she better be doing everything because i done paid the ticket up in here and i want to i want my money's worth you know i want to see the show i want to see the show i want to get what i'm paying for i want to get my money's worth you gotta have that mindset when you're an entertainer and we are entertainers as dancers okay you got to you got to think about that it's a bigger picture here Okay, let's just do one more. I'm gonna do one more and then <laughs> that's it. Let's do neck. Let's do neck. Let's do neck and C. And he's uploading these videos as I'm talking, so that's why I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I love this that they're not doing row by row. <clears throat> they're doing a different formation, so they're doing outsides coming in. Oh, honey, honey fell, honey, baby girl. Good recovery though, because I almost missed it. I can tell that this is the first game. This is a true first game. Like, these are things that happen at a first performance, typically for any squad, the best squad, your favorite dance lines have horrible first performances. They have horrible performances sometimes, period. So, it happens y'all it happens even the best people the best dancers the best artists they have their days okay and this is something new yes ma'am and i love how jay said smile i love that they smile and dance i love it Yes, ma'am. Yes, Ripple. I like that sit down. Nice and simple. Nice and simple, ladies. Yes, sir. I give it on the benefit of the doubt. I think it's just the environment. It's a lack of energy and, you know, 
for the football game is nobody really there. So it's kind of hard for them to find that energy to say, okay, I got something to perform for. But other than that, I mean, I that's just my opinion. I think the energy level was a lot lower than what it typically is when I see J set videos. But other than that, congratulations to the new girls who um, this is their first time performing at a football game. So congratulations. I know this is very, very exciting and very, very scary for you. You know, you are living out your dreams, okay? The most you can do is just get better and better each time you perform. And that's, that's period at the end of the day. Tell me what you guys think about this video. Let me know your thoughts, okay? Let me know your thoughts on JSET's first game um, of the 2021 season. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification button if you want to be notified every time I have new content posted onto this channel, okay? And guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, okay? We're setting goals here. Give me the 50K, not 50K, <laughs> give me the 50 likes on this video, okay? And yeah, I know we can get there, guys, okay? I'm going to challenge you. I know we can get there. But guys, like I always say, that is what I'm period, and I am out. Bye, guys.